Now that we've created a new part, let's start making our first sketch. So first we want to pick which plane we want to draw on. So I want to pick this XY plane. Usually you want to pick a plane that's corresponding to kind of really how you're holding your object in your hand if you're drawing a real object or if you're drawing from a sketch that matches that orientation. So I want to pick that plane that matches. Then I can either click on the sketch button here or I can come over here and click on the sketch button on the plane. And it gives me a plane. And I know I'm going to sketch now because I have a grid on that plane. So it's following the XY axis of that plane. So now I want to kind of sketch out a rough idea of the, the shape. So I'm going to click here and as I move over, as I get close to horizontal, you can see it gives me a little indicator. And I can come up and it indicates that now that's perpendicular. Now that's parallel. I won't do that one on purpose. I won't do that one either. And I'll come back down. I'll get a little green dot and click. That lets you know it's right back on that point. I'll just escape. <clears throat> and so I look down here at the bottom. It tells me I have seven dimensions needed in order so for it to know exactly where everything is here. If I grab a point, I can move these corners. If I grab this one, you can see those are staying parallel and perpendicular. So what I can do here in these constraints is I can add some geometric constraints to this. And usually I like to add geometric constraints first before I start adding dimensions. So I'm going to say perpendicular that to that. Perpendicular that to that. Perpendicular that to that. So now this part is going to move the correct way. If I grab a line, it's going to move. Grab corners. Usually corners give you the let you know kind of if things are wonky or whatever. And it says I need four dimensions. So I need length, length there, length there, height here, height there, or there. <coughs> um, you can see I have coincident, collinear, concentric, don't use lock, um, parallel, perpendicular, horizontal, vertical, tangent, symmetric, and equals. So let's say I want this piece and that piece always to stay the same. I can go to equal, that, to that. And so now when I move one of these, the other is going to move also. So now it's moving like I want it to. So now it's time I can dimension. So I'll go to dimension. And then I can pick what I want to dimension. So I'm going to pick this line and I'm just going to bring it down. If I go up and press this line, now it's going to give me that dimension. So I'll do that. I'll click there and I'll tell that I want it to be 1. Now I can click this line, pull it down. And you can see this little D number right there. This was D0. This is D1. So if I want this one to be twice as long as that one, I can just say D0 times 2 and it's going to make that 2 inches long. Now I can dimension this one. And remember, it's in inches right now. So if I knew a, a metric value for this, so if I wanted this to be 10 millimeters, I just type that in, hit enter, and it's going to adjust that and do the, the conversion for me. If I click on it, it's going to show me 10 millimeters. So it's still storing it as 10 millimeters. <clears throat> so you can really mix and match what you want. I could even do. Uh, 0.5 inches minus 2 millimeters and it'll figure out what that is. So once I get it done and I check down here and it says fully constrained you'll also notice that your lines change colors as they, as they get constrained. I'm going to go ahead and hit finish sketch and now I have it and this is pretty much almost the most complicated sketches I would want. I usually try to keep sketches to six lines or arcs or less, um, <clears throat> never more than eight lines or arcs in a sketch. So here's that sketch. I'm going to go to extrude. And I can tell it how far do I want this thing to go. So I can go that way, that way, go mid-plane, so halfway, or I can go different distances each way. 
Um, I'll just go a single direction. One inch is fine. I'll say OK. So now I have my part here. And pressing the mouse wheel and dragging it lets me pan it. Rolling the mouse wheel lets me zoom it. If I want to orbit it, I can hit F4. If I'm inside the circle, I can click and drag it kind of any way I want. If I click this here and I get this icon, it's only going to allow me to go up and down. This one, I can only go side to side. Out here, I can only go around. <clears throat> so those are some good ways to do it. Um, I can also go to the, the, um, the cube here and do that to see different corners in the view cube. So that's the basics of creating a sketch, constraining it, and moving around on your view.